Hey everyone, welcome to episode five of our cargo trailer conversion to tiny home and we still have a whole lot of stuff to do around here. We definitely do. In this video, I'll be showing you how to insulate the ceiling with some rigid foam. We've already insulated with some spray foam, but we're gonna add a little bit extra R value. So I'm gonna be insulating the ceiling here using some of this foam. Now this measures three quarters of an inch thick. And I just wanted to add a little bit of foam because you know I've got about an inch and a half up here. And I just wanted to give us a little bit more warmth. Plus, by not having the spray foam right down to this wood, it's allowing me to chase my wires through this paneling if I ever need. So these are all parallel or as close to parallel as I can get them. So I'm just gonna cut it a little bit bigger than I need and then you can kind of just push it in there. Okay, so you need a tape measure, felt marker, a good knife like an Olfa and a straight edge like a, a level or piece of aluminum or a T-square or something like that. So I will just mark this out and then I will cut it. Now I always do a tick off the line, that way you can see it, because if I just did like a regular tick, it could get lost in all this markings, right? So anytime you're doing a mark, pencil, with woodwork or whatever, just kind of always do a line off the side. It's just a little tip. And my knife of choice is the Olfa. Give yourself a nice, good blade. We'll leave some links down below. There we go. Now we just push it up here and just kind of squeeze it in. You can be overcut a little bit. And that's it. So if I need to fish wires through here, when I have my paneling on, I'll just drill some holes for my, say my puck lights uh, that I'll be putting in here. And then I can just cut the foam out, the light will slip in, and then I can take fish tape and push it through to get my wire to the next spot. And we'll show you that on the next video once we get into the electrical stuff. But that's sort of how I'm gonna do this and uh, just kind of add that extra warmth. So yeah, I'm just gonna keep going down each row and get all this done. So I'm just tracing this wall because it's on an angle. See that angle there? So by tracing it, just find any old block, mark it out, and then it'll allow me to get this piece a lot closer. So then you gotta pull it out. I'm not worried about these walls because they're getting paneling. See, nice tight fit. Just basically scribe to the wall. So we can just keep on going down here. Let's have to get some more material. Another way of marking it is you just take your knife, put it where you need. Just give it a little twist. The only problem doing that, it's a little harder to see. But it does skip a step. Because you don't have to use a felt.
So one other thing to think about is I'm using not a completely rigid styrofoam. This product has a bit of give to it. So if you're using something really, really rigid, you might have trouble pushing it into where you need it to be. This product, like I said, is you can move it around, you can squish it a little. So it's just a little easier to squeeze it into some tight spots if you've overcut it or not. Cause uh, nothing in here is like perfectly straight. So just something to think about, make your life a little easier. See how this is overcut a little? I can just kind of squeeze it in there. Now here, as I showed before, I'll be putting in a wood block just to hold this together so it's nice and flat. Screw here. Uh oh. <laughs> Gotta put a screw in there. All right. <laughs> Is it looking good? Is it working for you? Yeah, it's looking good. It's working pretty well. I think it'll give us that added extra warmth and a couple little things they got to fix up but no it's going on pretty nice okay so we finished off insulating the ceiling mostly we're about 90 percent done i've got a little bit of stuff to do just filling in these little areas but this just kind of gives you the overall idea of what we're doing here so we've added all this extra insulation i ran the uh, little heater in here because i was doing this at night and within five minutes running this at medium it was toasty warm and i was just working in a t-shirt and that was with like minus 10 degrees 15 degrees uh celsius last night so you know i'm pretty pretty happy with the overall insulation in here and how quickly it's going to warm up once we get our proper heater going so yeah next step is going to be just finishing off these little voids that i've got and then i'm going to sheet this ceiling just kind of tidy things up a little bit but uh that's basically it just uh down and dirty and you know it's just a trailer it's not a house so just kind of getting her done all right so yeah if you have any questions please leave some comments down below love to hear from you subscribe hit that notify bell give me a thumbs up if you like the video of course and uh yeah keep on crushing it and we'll catch you later we're rolling. Razzmatazz. <laughs> Hi there. I didn't see you. Welcome to my trailer. <laughs>